Hey, this is Flo, and in this video I will show you how to use the Geometry Reader in SwiftUI to create a custom vertical bar chart like this on the right hand side and actually also animate it. Let me show you how the animation will look like. Okay, so before the video starts, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you like this type of content. Alright, so let's get started with this vertical bar chart. So first of all, we are going to create a data struct to hold the values that we want. I will just create a struct called um, chart data. Let's call it chart data. And um, let's make it identifiable. Okay, so to conform to identifiable, we need some ID. So uh, let's just create a UUID here. Then this um, chart data needs a value which we will make type double so you can use it for other charts as well and then we will also um, give it a title of type string which describes this data and then inside of our content view we will just create a variable um, var data of type chart data now this won't work because we need to um, give the preview some data. So what we could do, for example, is create a static computed variable here inside of the chart data or actually not even computed. So static let preview, which should be of type chart data equal to some array. And in here we will just create a few dummy entries, for example, value. 0.5 title first and let's create a few more value 0.7 title second and another one value 1.0 and title third and now we can just pass these into our preview so we can just say uh, oops our data is chart data dot preview in this way, we can just use this in every place inside of the app. Okay, but let's think about the actual uh, chart now. So for that, um, we will have to read the geometry of the view so we can actually scale the rectangles. So we need a geometry reader, which gives us a geometry proxy, which we can grab like this or capture like this. And then um, since we want a few different bars um, horizontally aligned, we need an H stack obviously. And I will give this an alignment of bottom. So they are all um, pressed against the bottom. And I'll also give this a spacing of let's say eight pixels. Okay, inside of this H stack, we can now iterate over all of our um, chart data. Uh, let's call it entry here and since our chart data is identifiable we don't need to provide an ID property in the for each and we can just iterate over the data like this and then we grab one entry of the data okay then inside of the for each um, we just create a v stack with a center alignment alignment of dot center um, you will see in just a second why this, al why this alignment is actually um, relatively important. Inside of this V stack, we will have a spacer, so everything is pressed against the bottom. Then we will have a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of, let's say, 4, but you can, of course, change this however you want. And then below that rectangle, we will have the text, so our entry dot title. Okay. If we run this in the preview now, actually we also need, uh, because the preview needs to build the app, we need to also provide the data in our app itself. So we can just do the same thing as in the preview. And now we should be able to build the app. So let's see. Okay, and there you can see we already have three bars as expected because we have three values. So next it maybe would make sense to give this H stack some horizontal padding dot horizontal oops like this okay already pretty good 
Now I told you that this center alignment is rather important and that's because otherwise the text would, uh, for example, be leading here and not aligned like this. Now all that is left to do is to scale the rounded rectangles and to animate them. And for that we of course need to give them a frame with a specified height. Now the height should be our proxy dot size dot height. So all of the height is, that is available to us. And um, <clears throat> we might want to subtract a bit here because of the text below. So I think the default text size is 14. So let's do 16 and that should be, uh, should be fine. Now this is the maximum size that we want and now we, uh, or that, that we can give. And now we obviously need to scale it to um, the values in our chart data like this. And you can either assume that the values are already normalized or you can normalize them right here. So um, I will just mm, do it like this. So entry dot value <coughs> and then divide this by a CG float of um, data dot map and we will map to the value and grab the max value from there. Okay, and now you can see that this already works and if we change some of our placeholder values here, for example, change this 0.5 to 0.2 and resume the preview, then you will see that this will actually get a bit smaller, just like this. Okay, last thing missing is um, the animation and for that we can uh, create a state variable called animated. Let's set it to false. And once this h stack appears, we can just call the onAppear method. And in here we will say animated equals true, which will cause a view update because this is a state variable. And now what we can do is um, make our height dependent on the animated variable. So if it's animated, if animated is true, then we want this value. And otherwise we will have a height of zero. Um, by itself, this will not animate anything because we need to give it the animation modifier. And I will actually use dot spring here. And if we resume this now and hit play, then you will see it animate. Let's play that again. Okay, so that already looks really, really good. And as you can see, it's actually quite simple to create custom graphs in SwiftUI using a geometry reader. If you liked this video, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because there is much more practical content coming your way. Bye.